Well, here we are, grand design. Let's check out some of the models you guys requested. In my RV, yeah. Well, good morning, everybody, and greetings from the Florida RV Super Show in Tampa. And uh, I know a lot of you have uh, requested that I check out some of the grand designs. And uh, since I'm here, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Yeah, here we are, grand design. And this is the Imagine XLS 22 MLE. I know a couple of you requested this one and there's no one here. That's the advantage of coming early. So let's step inside. Actually, let me see first if uh, the bay... Here we go. That's a decent storage right there. Oh, and there was someone in there. <laughs> Let me check it out here. The 22 MLE, as we can see, you, we have a Murphy bed here in the front, which is very cool. Storage underneath. I like those hydraulics right there. And uh, I don't know how to put it back down, but I'm sure it should be an easy process, right? There we go. We just push. And we have here dual, uh, um, dual uh, recliners. And the nice bed with very nice material. And this is, I believe, the one that go, goes up and down easily. Just, uh, you know, uh, unlock there and it should go down. I don't know. I'm sure, the, I'm, sure there, I'm sure there's a trick to it, but I'll check it out later. Have a nice TV here in front of your recliners where it should go. And the entertainment center there on the left and here more storage. Here we have a mirror, here we have huge pantry with very large drawers. Down there that's your, your converter box. Here we have a rear kitchen and I like the fact that you have these windows here. So you can be cooking and, and looking at the, at if you have that back inside uh, ocean front in one of these state parks, you know, or uh, like camp golf or whatever. Nice sink here, and here's the bathroom, and uh, yeah, that's a porcelain toilet right there, and uh, yeah, very nice, very nice. Let's do the shower test, and uh, as you can see, I have a couple of inches to spare, so I'm 5'10", you do the math, more or less, you got three or four more inches there. Here we have a standard Furion three burner stove. With uh, it's, a, it's an RV, uh, RV style oven. They're good for making pizza. And here we have um, the Medic. And it looks like a, yeah, this is absorption style. It's a two way. It works on, uh, uh, this is exactly very similar to the one I have in Minitini too. And here, of course, you would have USBs and, uh, and power on both sides. And more storage, yes, wardrobe closet on both sides, and more storage up here. This is a very nice floor plan. This is, of course, a, a large slide which would come probably kind of like all the way to here. So this is cool. You have the, the cooling and warming uh, cup holders, very nice. Well, let's continue. Let's uh, see what, which, what other model you all requested, and I'll. Uh, and I'll check that out. Well, this is it, the 17 MKE, and these are uh, Grand Design XLS. Let's look at the storage. This one looks like it has a taller storage here. Here's the, the light switch. I don't think these are. Made. And I like I like the, the that magnetic latch that they've been uh, putting on these uh, trailers lately. Let's step inside. This one also has that, that uh, large slide there. It's a different configuration. Of course, you have a huge uh, kitchen area here to the left, as you can see. Lots of um, counter space. And, um, let me see if I have, okay. Here we are, this is important. Uh, the weight, U -W UBW, it's, uh, that's probably dry weight, 46.74, that's not a whole lot. That's good, 480 hitch weight. It's a 2111 it's a exterior uh, 
and the length and fresh water 43 45 and 37 that's pretty good for a tra trailer of this size here we have on the slide the the recliner in front of the tv where it should go very nice and this is this is a uh, this is similar to what Winnebago is doing with their with their 2100 series you have the murphy bed that falls over this uh, sofa here i i like that kind of setup because uh you can leave your bed made and uh, all day and then and then you can undo it you know and then make it make it into a bed at night yeah this is a nice sink here same same range look at all this counter space here we could have like a coffee maker all kinds of appliances i could put the ninja there the ninja actually would fit there oh you, you haven't seen the ninja yet i have to show you guys same uh, refrigerator absorption style here very large those these, these are nice if it is anything like the one in mini tiny two uh, they're very nice i'd like to see less wood and more like solid colors but there you go let me see let's do the shower test this one has a little more headroom not a whole lot no it's about the same i'm 510 you do the math also absolutely porcelain toilet and here we have our medicine cabinet with a mirror and more more storage here in the bathroom by the way they do not have a convection microwave this is a regular a uh, regular standard microwave and uh, i'm not gonna bring down the, the murphy bed but it should be actually it's probably a two-handed operation let's see let's see if we can do this it should or maybe just maybe i should ask for assistance huh Oh, here we go. So it comes this way. And then the bed should just... Yeah, there's a latch here on the, on the right-hand side. And then the bed just comes down like that, like so. Very nice. Oh, the mattress stayed up there. I like it. That's very cool. That works, works, works very well. Let's put it back, if we can. There we go. And now this should just go back like so. It's actually, it's, a, it's an interesting mechanism. I hadn't seen that one before, but that's very cool. Here we have, of course, more storage and this i do believe no it does not pass through to the but it would be cool if it did pass through to the, to the basement we have standard uh, power plugs here you know i didn't see did you guys see did you guys see if it had usbs in the back it probably does right all right let's see what else let's see what else here is on my list of grand designs all right, we continue here at Grand Design, and this is the 2800 BH. You all recommend, you all asked that I step into this one too. This one, by the way, has a um, look at that outside kitchen here. I like how this this, this just stay up with a magnetic. Thing. I guess here you could put your grill or what have you. Here's a drawer. Oh, here's a look at that two burner two burner stove here in the outside kitchen, and this is a compressor style refrigerator here. Is, you know, it's very nice to have, especially if you're cooking fish. If you ever cook fish inside your RV, you know, um, you, you know, you want an outside kitchen. Uh, this one has this is the BH because it has bunks here in the back. Very nice. And uh, here's the bathroom. Again, porcelain toilet, always good. This is not exactly like a co Korean, but it's um, it's it's very nice material. And uh, here we go. This one has a little more headroom, look at that. If you're six, six two, you probably fit here nicely. Medicine cabinet, here we go. And the grand design, pun intended, they are very well designed in the sense that the, your, 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 uh, your, your, what you call it? Your, your recliner, it's one of those mornings, guys. Your recliner is in front of your TV and here you have like your entertainment center is the jensen entertainment and you could probably put like a blu-ray here other things your roku your apple tv 
your fire stick, that sort of thing. By the way, lots of storage here. Very deep, it's deep, it's more than elbow deep, as you can see, so it's... Uh, and these drawers here, they're very nice and deep too. Same refrigerator, we're not gonna open it, same range as we've seen in the other ones. Same sink, these are very nice actually, like to have a large dip sink, especially for your larger pots and pans. And it's a decent amount of, of counter space back here. I mean, you could put the, the Ninja there. I'm not, the, the, I have to show you the Ninja. It's an amazing product. And this is the dinette that obviously converts into a, uh, into a bed here. You have to do a little, probably a little bit of that cushion puzzle, but it works. And here's our master bedroom, which is very nice. You have your USBs on both sides and the power. And of course you have under the bed, uh, it's cool because you have like a drawer, like a sliding drawer. That's interesting. Yeah, because sometimes it's not convenient to have just one large cavernous space. You know, it's good to have a way to organize it. Wardrobe closet, drawers, lots of storage, very nice. And if we want some privacy back here, there's always a sliding door. That was a good movie, Sliding Doors. And I don't see a TV, but a oh, TV backer location. Here's where you would put the TV. Perhaps not the best position ever, but it's all right. And here's the, your fire alarm, which is kind of good that it's far away from the, from the range. Because you know, if you, if you ever cooked bacon in an RV, it will go off. And that's a nice large slide. And for the most part, the rig is fully functional if the slide is in. So that's always good, just in case you stop at one of these places where, where slides are frowned upon. So yeah, let's continue. Okay, you also have, I have the grand design. Imagine 2,000 the 2,500 RL. Let's look for a 2,500 RL. It's gotta be somewhere around here. This is a 2500 RL. There it is, here's our floor plan. U-shaped dinette, RL. I guess RL means rear lounge. And this one has an exterior length of 30. Uh, the, the weight is 58.57. And um, well, that's a huge gray water tank. I like that because the, basically the size of your gray water tank depends how long you can boondock at a place, you know. Because you can bring extra fresh water. I mean, um, for waste water, that's what we call it now. It's not a black tank anymore. It's 45 uh, gallons, which is, I mean, it's almost twice what I have in Minitini. So 45 is good. 45 will get you through a week, probably. Okay, here's our rear lounge. That's a huge window. What is it that they call it? Picture window. And then this sort of U-shaped uh, dinette here. Your TV is, uh, that's a pretty big TV also in front of your U-shaped dinette. Is there storage back here? No, there isn't. But that's a very nice TV. Well, look at that. You can tilt it. And then if you're sitting here, that's a pretty good position. I'm sure it might even go farther out than this. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't want to break anything in here. So I'm going to, this is a pretty decent amount of counter space. Not as much as the other ones we've seen, but this is good. And this is our... Oh, but it does have an extension, which is also good. Let's get a little bit of uh, hand sanitizer. No, maybe not. Not, not yet. By the way, they, they, there's, I, I haven't been to the other parts of the show, but the show, I mean, at least this grand design area seems to be not too many people. This is kind of like the back of the show, too. So There's a RV style oven, same range, same range we've seen before. Lots of storage space down here. Drawers. Ah, I cut my finger. Oh, look at that. I cut my finger pretty good on that drawer. Luckily, I have an extra mask <laughs> that I'm going to use to cover my finger for now. And uh, I think that's it for this grand design. Yeah, we have uh, more storage up here. Here, storage here, a little there. This is a large drawer for pots and pans and stuff. And it has these things. I don't know what this would be for. Like, as a divider, so stuff don't, doesn't rattle around, I suppose. If that is the case, that's a good idea. 
Our medicine cabinet here. Very nice. All right, let's continue. I'm riding, riding 